Hello everyone, this is Roy Krakas. This here is a shot that I took inside Sam Leon's bar in Bodie, California, which is one of the best preserved ghost towns in the country, in the USA. And I'm going to color it with my Marshall photo oils. So let's do this. going to do that with cotton rounds, q-tips for the more detailed work and for the super detailed work we can use these ITs, very pointy type of q-tips. So let's see, I'm going, going to use a lot of burnt sienna here. The Marshall photo oils are dedicated oils for this kind of work. Yeah, it's very translucent oil paint. And it's actually how people used to color their images, uh, black and white photos back in the days of the, the heydays of Bodhi, or oh, even before and after. So I just took a little bit on the cotton round, and you can see it's it's translucent, you can still see the structure of the photo underneath. When you put it on thick, you get more saturated. Put it on thin, it's more desaturated and more of the grays come through underneath. It's actually the grays of the photo that desaturate the color. And of course, when there's a lot of white, like the sky here, you get the pure color. So I'm going to use a lot of burnt sienna, which is like an orangey brown, all over, but then I would like to change it up here and there by using some, some different colors. We can add in some yellows and reds, maybe here and there, maybe emphasize the orange by adding some separate cadmium orange. So gambling was actually also prohibited in those days, um, but because Bodhi was so remote, nobody cared. At least that's what the ranger told me, who showed me around here one time. So this obviously is a roulette table, but in the back here you can see an old slot machine. So maybe we should, so there's a lot of dust here, and a lot of stuff on the table here, but I'm thinking maybe we can add some green here and there, like the old green felt is still coming through. Or well, red, I don't, I don't remember what the true color of this table was. You can see you can just, you don't have to deal with a lot of details. Some, sometimes people think when they see my work is that I carefully have to go around every little object, but because the paint is so transparent, the darker regions stay dark and you can still see the structure of the photo through, through the color. And you can see I went over the lines here, that's okay. I like to work that way. I like to remove paint later where I don't want it. Well, 
that's it. there's a lot of burnt sienna indeed. Let's do this part here with a Q tip. And then where we don't want it, you can remove it. So this is Fuji Crystal Archive paper, which is paper that's used in a and light jets. And it takes the Marshall photo oils really well. And you can also still remove it as I'm doing now. lighter here and there. So I'm taking another clean cotton round and then remove the paint where I don't want it. Well, not completely. But make it lighter here and there. These like smooth out some of the, the brush strokes that you can see. Yeah, that looks better already. So I do have also sepia, which we can also use. Q-tip and add some here overall to this painting or image. With the clean side, remove a little bit of it again. There we go. And then let's add some touches of sepia here and there. around again and add some to the floor okay now let's grab some orange Oh, that's not orange. A lot of orange got on here from this tube that's leaking. Okay, that's orange. Just add some touches of orange and onto the walls here. Just change up that color a little bit. Kind of mixing it in with the burnt sienna that's there already. Okay. 
There we go. Let's see, maybe a little more on this side. Okay, that's good. Now, let's do that green thing I mentioned earlier. I'm going to add some green to the old felt of this table here. This is oxide green. Clean cotton round. Pick some up. Like that. Not too much, very subtle. I think that looks pretty good. Nicely blending it in with the burn sienna that's there already. Okay, good. Now, thinking, add some yellow to the chips. You don't need very much. Actually, you don't need very much of this paint anyway. These tubes last for a very long time because you need so little of it. So this I'll be adding with a Q-tip. You know, already the image looks a lot better. It's not all one and the same color anymore. And let's add some yellow to this painting. Maybe the wallpaper that's coming down here. It's actually a barber shop next door here. go and then I want some blue in there this is Chinese blue not a clean q-tip and I would like to add some Do the slot machine. And then still have to get rid of a little bit, that's a little too much, but I'm also thinking a little bit in the sky here. Like the the white parts are actually clouds. I'm gonna go on the, the gray areas. Like that. And with a clean cotton round, we're gonna smooth that out later. Here we 
a little bit here. Okay, let's take a clean cotton round. Let's smooth this out a little bit. Blend it with its surroundings. Make it a little more subtle. There we go. Over here. I'll remove some of the color on the door here. Like that. And then the slot machine is a little too intense too. So I'm just pushing it on, trying not to go over the wall part. So I'm kind of pushing it down and turning to get some of the color off. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, let's grab some, probably that burnt sienna again and add that to the wood of the houses in the background. So, the, so I went here earlier in the day, so I visited Bodhi in, now I forgot, 2013 or 14. probably 2014 and I, I picked several buildings that I wanted to go into and this was one of them recommended by the monitor that was with me and in the morning there was a lot of snow and then by the afternoon it was all gone And it's all done. So I put also this cracular texture coating on it, which is like an acrylic based coating, just to give it a nice feel to it and it doesn't have the reflection that glass normally has. Plus I put this barnwood frame on it, which reminds me actually of the wood of Bodhi itself. And so here we go. These are called Playing at Sam's, all done. So I hope you liked the video. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.